What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be talking about Foley. More specifically, two important elements of Foley, uh, weather sounds, ambient weather effects, and footsteps. Something that's often overlooked and can be tedious to do, but is very important when you're trying to immerse somebody in a film. So, for the weather effects, we're going to be using a fantastic free weather plugin that I recently found. And I was also trying to download and use their free uh, footstep sampler essentially, but I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't seem to link the file libraries together. So I thought why not use the TX16WX software sampler that we've covered in a previous video and some of my own footstep samples that I found online and just basically create a library of footsteps. So in this video we're going to use the sampler and the audio plugin to do some quick foley for a little chunk of film. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are with some free footstep samples from zapsplat.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description. And what I'm doing here is going to the edit window in Pro Tools and selecting Strip Silence. This is also useful uh, if you have all of your footsteps recorded on the same track with maybe a boom microphone and you want to strip out the silence in between. You essentially just set a threshold and click Strip. And it's going to basically isolate those footstep samples out of the main track and then you can bounce them individually and load them into your sampler. It's a little bit of an aside, but I just wanted to run through that for anybody who's new to Strip Silence or Pro Tools in general. Alright, moving on. Now here we are in GarageBand with the TX16WX sampler, and we're going to go about loading those footstep samples into the uh, software sampler. If you don't know how to do that, I'll leave another link in the description for a tutorial on using this sampler. And essentially, once you have these footsteps loaded in, you can just go in, watch the movie as I did, and just basically play as you see the footsteps occurring. This isn't an exact science, and you're definitely going to need to go through and edit the placement of each individual step, but this is a lot easier than having to place each step in manually. This kind of gives you a rough template to work with. All right, so here we are in Pro Tools with the uh, film that we're gonna be using. In this case, we're gonna be taking a scene from a short film called Refuge by Thibault Duverneau. I apologize for probably butchering that name, but this is a good example of, you know, someone running through the woods, and I would definitely recommend watching the actual short film as the cinematography and sound design are excellent. I'll leave a link for that in the description. Here I have the footsteps from the GarageBand session, and they've just been tweaked to match the uh, running a little better. So let's take a look at this audio weather free plugin. Now, as you can see, it's a pretty simple setup. You just have wind, rain, and then gain. And once you unbypass the plugin, you're going to hear it start up. So you can see we can change the amount of wind and rain. And then you have a variety of kind of scenes to choose from. Also, I like this rain setting can be kind of used to simulate just atmospheric wind in the trees. When it's kind of here and then... You can kind of use automation to create gusts, something we're going to do. You can also do that with uh, this case. You can simulate kind of the sound of wind in the trees when you bring in this other uh, wind preset. All right, so what I'm going to do with the weather plugin is just create a, another stereo track and then send some audio over to it. And that's going to kind of act as our weather track. So let's get that set up real quick. Get kind of a preset we like, and let's roll it. And there you go. Now we can bypass our plugin and end up with our weather uh, track, just kind of as a stereo audio track. So there we go, we have a little a bit of ambiance in the background. Now what I can do is go ahead and duplicate this track and we can go back into the weather plugin and just make ourselves 
the other side or another uh, weather track because I feel like layering these samples is going to have them sounding a lot better and a lot fuller. Leave the rain very low on this one. I mostly just mess with the wind. Let's do it. Definitely like the kind of ominous sound we're getting here. Then I was thinking we could go ahead, bypass this guy, Ooh, a lot of noise, and then pan these out a little bit, and then combine them together to get this. Which should go well with the picture. Alright, now that we have our stereo weather tracks and footsteps, I'm going to do a little bit of mixing and then add a little soundtrack piece in and we're going to see how it all comes together. Let's check that out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the example, and maybe learned something about how to use the Audio Weather Free plugin and use a sampler to make footsteps. Uh, be sure to stay tuned for more music, audio engineering, and film related content. Until next time, peace.